Will the market crash in 2025? How to find out? Hey guys, I'm Alex Arroyo and I'm a real estate agent and I specialize in Umatilla and Moro County. And of course, I'm licensed in the state of Oregon. No, I don't have a crystal ball. I cannot find out what's gonna happen next year. But what I'm gonna do for you, I'm gonna give you the things that I look for uh, to find out where the market is going. So with no further ado, let's get started. Okay, so the first thing to look for is gonna be demographic trends. Are you looking for more people coming into town or leaving town? Right now in Hermiston, Umatilla, all these surrounding areas, I've noticed more people that are coming to town instead of people leaving to town. So think about that, where you live, are there more people coming to town or leaving? Interest rates, right now we're almost at the end of 2024 and interest rates just drop a little bit, but it will interest rates will make the market crash. Well, so last year interest rates were pretty, pretty high. And even though the market was steady compared to other years, uh, back when COVID happens, yes, interest rates drop and that helped a lot of buyers to put, put offers on the houses, but interest rates will be one of the factors to consider where the market is going. The next one is lender standards. Back in 2008, the lender standards were really low and this was one of the factors that let the market crash. Right now, the lender standards are really high and for a lender to approve a buyer they have a lot of regulations so yeah they want to make sure the buyers are really really approved they want to make sure the buyer is really approved to be able to purchase a home and and they don't nothing goes wrong with the with the buyer so i think the, the standards are pretty high which is good as well good indicator where the market is going comparative market prices Right now, where we're located, wherever you go, north, south, east, west, the prices are more affordable here compared to any other market. For example, if you go north, a few minutes away, it's Tri-Cities. At least right now, we're like 40 to 60,000 below their average. But if we go south to probably Idaho, prices are way more expensive. If we go east to probably Portland, prices are more expensive. Or if we go at least west to, I think the closest city is Walla Walla, prices are way more expensive so wherever you go this is probably one of way more affordable areas compared to any any other market so if, if something will happen it will probably hit other markets around the area and then us the next factor is going to be construction activity if, if you see a lot of construction going on that's going to be a good indicator that you know there's more developments right now there's a lot of residential construction in I think most of the cities right now, Stanfield, Hermiston, Umatilla, Irrigan, Borman, and there is a lot of demand. There is also a lot of industrial construction, but we'll go over the details in a minute. Infrastructure development. Right now we have a lot of Amazon going on. This is more in the industrial side, but also a lot of farming and a lot of warehousing development, which is good for the area. I think that's, that's gonna bring more employment and it's a good indicator for for the market but if you are seeing less or more construction in your market uh, that's good that's gonna help you to determine where the, the real estate market is gonna go economic and employment growth if you're seeing more employment going on and there's a more needs for employment that's a good indicator as well but if you see less employment in your area that will tell you something I think in this area there has there we don't have that issue of employment I think we have the issue of finding more more people the next one is supply and demand right now uh, compared to last year supply and demand has been pretty pretty steady I think we almost have the same amount of homes that came to the market comparison to the homes that are going under contract if you guys want to see more updated market updates just let us know we we do uh, at least a video every every single week government policies and incentives right now the city of borman is giving you five thousand dollars if you buy a home within their uh, city limits i think Irrigon is helping you with uh, two thousand dollars or three thousand dollars if you buy a property in the Irrigon area but also there is some uh, state programs that are helping home buyers to to buy more homes which is a good indicator as well i know the zoning of umatilla at least the city of umatilla you will be able to build a duplex on a zone r1 which which is great news i think that's going to start on july of 2025 and there is a lot of zoning and updates and a lot of things that are going on at least in this area that will help other other builders or even investors to develop more land 
The next one is gonna be the rental market. How's the rental market in your area? Is there a lot of demand? Is there gonna be a lot of supply? I think in this area there is a lot of demand and rentals are going up and up. So that's, that's gonna be another big, big indicator. I think right now, if you find a rental, good luck with that. And the other one is gonna be affordability. Like I say, I think rentals are, are going up and up. I think, I think the rentals are more expensive here based on the dry cities, but um, I think it's pretty interesting. But a, a, lot of, a lot of the rental activity right now is coming from construction workers, which is good. I, like I say, there's a lot of new construction going around in, in the Umatilla and Moro County, which is, which is great. There's a lot of short and mid-term rentals, especially in the mid-term rentals. I think it's a great market. It, that's some, one of the markets that I'm barely getting into, which is super interesting. But if you guys want more information about that as well, let us know. Consumer sentiment and confidence. I've noticed that usually people like first time home buyers in this area, they are kind of more afraid to purchase their first investment comparison with the, maybe like someone that is coming from another state that is more expensive and they're trying to invest even their first or second or third investment they tend to be more confident because they see the price the price difference but that's just on the residential side of things uh, in comparison to people buying stuff or supplies i think there's a lot of people still going to groceries i i mean if you go to big stores right now if you go in certain days, I mean, pretty much, it's there's not gonna be a lot of a lot of supplies. So I guess it's 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 kind of a good problem to have, and, and it's a good indicator where the market it's it's going. So I hope all of these topics that we just went over were helpful for you to determine where the market is gonna go. So let us know down in the comments if you think the market is gonna crash in 2025. This has been a topic since I think 2018 or 2016. I don't know, a long time ago has been going and on and. As of right now, the market has not crashed, but you let us know if this is helpful to determine where the market is gonna go. Hey guys, I'm Alex Arroyo again, and see you guys on the next video.